Eight, ancient coin. We've all heard about those guys with metal detectors that walk around giant fields or the beach trying to find treasures. And most of the time, on TV especially, they aren't all that lucky. Some of them will wander around for hours on end and only have pocket change to show for it. But the reason they continue to do so is because it has worked out for a few detector enthusiasts. It worked out big time, just like it did for one New England man that had been waiting years for his chance in the sun. The man in question is Jim Bailey, just your average history buff. But what he found was anything but average. While scavenging with his metal detector in Rhode Island, Jim came across a centuries-old coin that was first minted in Yemen back in 1693. But that's not the coolest part about this find. This mystery coin could be the key to unlocking a much larger historical mystery. It all starts with an old English pirate named Captain Henry Every that rose to fame after pillaging a ship full of Muslim pilgrims. They were originally heading towards India from Mecca before they were stopped by the crew. The pirate got away with the crime by pretending to be a slave trader. Not only were there people on the ship Henry stopped, there were millions upon millions of dollars worth of gold and silver coins. But Captain Every and his crew seemed to vanish into thin air after the massive find. The entire world was looking for them, but no one came forward. The coin Jim found could very well be the hint historians were looking for. Since he found it in Rhode Island, it might mean the pirate crew escaped to the old colonial American colonies. Other coins from Yemen have been popping up and discovered all over New England, leading us to think every posed as a slave trader to lead a new life in the colonies, an almost perfect crime. But as the saying goes, time will tell. And it surely did in Captain Henry's case. 7. Cash Box Imagine finding hidden treasure in your very own home. Well, that's exactly what happened for one Massachusetts woman thanks to the help of amateur treasure hunter Keith Will. It all started when the woman sought after Keith's help after hearing rumors of her aunt and uncle hiding things all over the house. The home was built in the 1950s, so that's plenty of time to rack up a few secrets. The woman is looking to sell it, though, so her family wants to make sure they found any hidden loot before putting it on the market. She said that up in the attic, the floorboards have scattered patterns of white X's and stars, which made her wonder if there was any merit to the symbols. But after searching for so long, the woman and her family gave up until they found Keith online. When he arrived at the home, it took him all but 50 minutes to find treasure. With his metal detector, he found a safe box full of $46,000 of vintage bills that had mint dates from the 1930s to 50s. The value today has multiplied many times to nearly half a million dollars. After the incredible discovery, Keith left all the money to the family, just happy he could help them get closure on the family secret. Although it's still a mystery who exactly hid the money in the first place. It was hidden close to the end of the Great Depression, so Keith believes that whoever did the hiding didn't have enough trust in the banks to store their cash there. But thanks to that distrust and forgetfulness, their ancestors are now rolling in the dough. 6. Mayan City It's fascinating to think about the ancient civilizations that once existed on this world. The Mayans in particular achieved incredible feats of engineering, mathematics, astronomy, and more, without the assistance of our modern technology and ways of thinking. We have remnants of their great societies with us today, like those found at the Chichen Itza and Tulum historical sites. But could there be more we've yet to find? Could the great jungles of Mexico have covered up the remains of ancient cities? It's entirely possible, and thanks to the help of recent advancements, archaeologists have uncovered much larger portions of Mayan civilization in Tikal. The technology used for the discovery is called remote sensing, and with it, scientists are able to see just how much of the Mayan settlement has been hidden by jungle overgrowth. This knowledge has unlocked other secrets of how the Mayans used to live in their day-to-day -day life. In particular, the Tikal settlement was likely one of the largest cities in the world during its heyday. 
With a population nearing 1,000, a metric that seems small to today's standards but was quite large back then, the city had everything from servants to nobles to a mighty king. Although there is still much to learn, this new discovery only adds to the prowess the Mayan people held. So how did this mighty kingdom fall? Well, we're still trying to find out the exact reasons. Everything from conquistadors to natural disasters to the wrath of the gods could be the answer. But all these mysteries just add to the reason to push for further exploration. Have you ever seen ancient ruins? Let us know about your discoveries in the comments down below. If you liked the video so far, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay updated on all our latest content. 5. Scottish Horde Picture this, you're a swordsman that lived over 3,000 years ago and you're coming home from a battle. You've been heavily wounded, but you can walk well enough to start making your way towards home. You're carrying a sword, along with some jewelry you were given as a memento from your family to remember them. But you're having trouble carrying everything, so you make the decision to drop everything. Now, flashing forward to modern day, a young man named Marius Stepien is roaming on a field in Scotland with his metal detector, when he comes across a remarkable find, a stash of jewelry, old swords, horse harnesses, and more, from the Bronze Age. While that first part might have been a dramatization, it's unknown how this massive treasure really wound up in the same spot, so it's very possible some swordsman could have dropped it off millennia ago. The discovery made just 22 miles, 36 kilometers, outside of Edinburgh is one of the most significant finds in Scottish history. After telling his friends about the find, Marius got in touch with the government of Scotland themselves, the Treasure Trove unit in particular. Yes, apparently that's a segment of the government there. They came to the field Marius made where the hoard was located and camped out for 22 days. In this time, they found many more ancient artifacts, including rings, sword scabbard, the caps from axes, and more. It was so much that they decided to put it all, along with some of the dirt it was found in, in the National Museum's Collection Center. This discovery made on August 10, 2020 was one of the largest made on Scottish soil. 4. The Lost Crown the British monarch Henry VIII has an interesting past, especially when it comes to his love life. He's well known for having multiple wives, a taboo amongst the Church of England, and achieving this by beheading the ones who couldn't produce a male heir or the ones he claimed were treasonous. Henry is the father of three other rulers, Edward VI, Mary I, and the famed Queen Elizabeth. As king, Henry kept a lively court, but ultimately his lasting legacy would be seen as a killer. Despite this, he was still the ruler of one of the greatest empires on earth, which makes any possession of his extremely valuable, especially his crown. Yet another man with a metal detector, Kevin Duckett, was scouring a field near Northamptonshire, England, when he made the discovery of a lifetime. At first, he picked the object up thinking it was a piece of crumpled up foil or perhaps an old milk bottle, but he soon realized it was something way cooler. It was a statue made of solid gold. Standing at 2.5 inches, 6.3 centimeters tall, the figure is believed to have once been a part of King Henry VIII's crown. But how could a piece of his crown end up in some random field, you may ask? Well, in 1649, after Oliver Cromwell had attacked the monarchy, he ordered the crown, passed on through the royalty until it got to King Charles I, to be melted and turned into coins. Those orders weren't followed through, though. Seeing the value of the artifact they held, Oliver's underlings took it upon themselves to sell the 344 gems and stones on the crown as well as the other pieces, like the one Kevin found. Even still, it's a mystery how it ended up in this particular field. After researching his find, Kevin decided to turn the statue in, but not before visiting the Grand Hall. It was here that he saw an exact replica of his discovery on display. The piece of Henry's crown is now safely stored away in the British Museum, standing as a relic to the days of old and kings of the past. 3. Shipwrecked 
Can you imagine hunting for treasure like Indiana Jones or Laura Croft, solving ancient mysteries and unlocking secrets that have been kept for centuries? Well, there's actually people out there who do it. While perhaps not as dangerous as the films would suggest, but just as rewarding. Dr. E. Lee Spence is an expert at finding treasures hidden under the surface of water. It's estimated that over the course of his career, he's uncovered millions of dollars worth of goods. One of his most noteworthy discoveries was finding the SS Georgiana. Originally intended to be used by the Confederate Army during the Civil War, the Georgiana never got her chance to fight in battle. She was supposed to be the strongest ship in the South's fleet once mounted with its powerful guns. The ship was built in Scotland, and while being transported to the South, it got caught up in a fight with the Union. Their Navy put up a blockade outside of South Carolina and were able to damage the Georgiana significantly enough that its captain resorted to sinking it. And there it sat, underwater near the shores of Charleston for over 100 years until Dr. Lee found it. On board the boat were artifacts from the Civil War worth millions of dollars today. There were remnants of medicine and ammo, but there was a rumor of hundreds of pounds of gold being on board too. Sadly, these turned out to be false. But even still, the discovery is incredibly significant for historians and Civil War enthusiasts alike. 2 fishing for gold. While out on a routine treasure hunting trip that usually turns up fruitless, Lee Weber was shocked at what he found. Using a fishing pole with a magnet on the end, he discovered over 46 safes buried beneath the sand in a river. It all started when his magnet hit something so big and heavy that he couldn't pull it out alone. Lee and his friends decided to hire a crane to help them. After seeing it was a massive safe, they did what any reasonable person would do in their situation. They broke it open. It took a while to get it unlocked, but once they did, they were speechless. The safe was full of incredibly valuable coins, some of them dating back as far as 1682 all the way to coins from Amsterdam in the early 1980s. After counting them all up, there were about 500 coins total, with their value ranging from 30 bucks a piece to much higher. It turns out that the safe was stolen many years ago, and Lee just stumbled upon it. Who knows how the person who stole it managed to throw the whole safe into the river, but either way, we're sure Lee was happy they did. 1. SS Central America One of the greatest discoveries in American history started with a shipwreck in the late 1850s. On August 24, 1857, life-changing news struck the North American continent when the prominent Ohio Life Insurance and Trust Company declared how it would no longer be sending out payments. The news sent the financial industry into chaos, leading some banks to band together to ship a large load of gold from Panama all the way to New York. The money was supposed to help the banks stand while the economy was in crisis, but the gold never made it to its destination. With hundreds of millions of cargo in today's standard on board, the SS Central America set out on its legendary journey. Unfortunately, disaster soon struck as a Category 2 hurricane hit the boat, damaging it beyond repair. As the boiler stopped working, the ship soon started to sink, taking the lives of over 425 crewmates in the process. Along with the deaths, it was thought that the gold on board was forever lost. But in 1988, it was found. Treasure hunter Tommy Gregory Thompson is credited with the discovery. He had become borderline obsessed with locating the famed ship. Using his knowledge as an ocean engineer, Tommy spent many years tracking the Central America's route and trying to pinpoint the spot it sank. And finally, after convincing investors to give him $12.5 million to fund the tech and equipment needed to locate and salvage the site, he quite literally struck gold. About 160 miles 257 kilometers from the shores of South Carolina and over a mile under the sea, there the SS Central America sat, wasting away at the bottom of the ocean. Over the course of years, Tommy and his team spent time salvaging all the lost treasure. There were many different companies trying to claim the gold as theirs, but a judge filed in Tommy's favor. Even still, there are disputes about the gold. 
just showing that greed knows no bounds. Thanks for watching. Have you ever found some lost treasure? Or have you heard of any other amazing discoveries? Let us know down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. See you next time. Bye!